Greetings, this is Prophet West. I um, I got a brief message. I got a brief direct message for you. I know I came on earlier and also enjoy me in the morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time where I'll be delivering another message. And the title of the message in the morning is going to be child support. I'm going to be talking about child support. How do you really support your child? It's not just the money. But what I want to say to you briefly, if I can, is to um, hold on and keep the faith. Hold on and keep the faith. I know it's hard what you're facing, what you're fighting, what you're dealing with. I know you want to give up. I know you want to move. But stay right there and trust the process. Trust the process and believe God. Faith. Have that faith. Faith says that I'm going to believe you, God, regardless. Let me give you a personal testimony of mine for seven weeks. Now, you know about know the story about my son, Daniel. Suddenly, one day at school, he became paralyzed, 13 years old in class. And for seven weeks, for seven weeks, every day at the hospital, I prayed for him. I did exercise on his legs. I put oil on his legs. For seven weeks, nothing happened. Seven weeks. Did the same thing over and over and over for so seven weeks. Of course, that was discouraging, like in my mind. But I trusted God. Kept on praying, still praying. For seven weeks, his legs didn't do nothing. And some of you, you've been doing it for a long time. You've been praying for a long time. You've been fasting for a long time. You've been asking God for a long time, but nothing had happened. And see, at this place where when you pray and you do all that and nothing happened, this where doubt will come and try to rob your faith, steal your faith, and make your faith move. But God wants your faith to be still because when your faith is still, through confidence and through time, God will fill your faith up like liquid. That's why Bible says faith is a substance of things, hopeful and evidence of things not seen. But the moment when you're in that place where when I was praying for my son, his legs, exercising his legs, like 40 reps every day on both legs, nothing happening, nothing happened. At that place, there's another voice. And that voice said it's not going to happen. That voice has said that you're afraid. You're praying, you're praying. Your prayers are not. God ain't hearing your prayers. Your prayers are ineffective. Your prayers are waste, wasteful, wasteless. See, this is the place where men and you at. Your mind is talking to you. And sometimes people talk to you and say, you're wasting your time. and don't take all of that. See, but at that place where things are trying to tell you to do something else, God is saying, stay right there. Because at that place where you are, where things are trying to pull you away from your belief, that's where God is speaking to you at. That's where God is giving you the direction. That's where God is giving you answers. That's where God is filling your faith up. That's where God is strengthening your faith up. I'm done with this, but hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't live by what we see. We live by what God has said. That's what God is raising up. That's what God is birthing in this hour in you. It's faith. And faith comes through pain. It does. It ain't gonna feel good. But that's faith. See you in the morning. 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. God bless you.